What's up, folks? Welcome back, and we have another battle here. So this one uh, is a Zoro v Zoro mirror match, as you can tell there. And I always feel pretty good in a mirror match. Um, I, I lose some, I win some, but oh, more often than not, I win some. So I feel confident in a mirror match because I know my opponent is going forward. There's no trickery. There's no you know backdoor moves or anything. It's just smash, smash, attack, attack. Um, so I started here with my, my usual standard move because I usually have a Zoro in hand or maybe a Nico Robin. So I would just use leader to attack leader, make them get rid of something, and then throw out my rush Zoro and have him attack as well. And then, you know, he's rested. So my biggest concern, one of the things that I try and focus on the most is my counters. Um, and the gentleman I'm playing here, he told me he doesn't run any blockers. This was after the match, of course. He told me he didn't run any blockers, just all counters. He had like 20 counters in his deck which I think is phenomenal. But, you know, I think the downside of that is going against something huge, like a 10 drop Kaido with 12,000, you know, just regular degular chopper can stop 12,000 um, versus, you know, having to come out of hand for all the 2K. So I, I try and keep my uh, my four choppers in the deck. Um, at this point in time, I'm running, I'm still running the starter, no, not starter, excuse me, the Romance Don Luffy because he gets the, uh, to rest the dawn on himself and i took out my nami that gives the rested one rested dawn just to see how this one plays i can honestly say i didn't play him too much um because one thing with him and even the 2k counter luffy is the fact that it's just hard to defend only having 3,000 uh damage makes it hard to defend on the, the back end so once it does its attack most likely unless you have a bunch of counters in hand are willing to commit those to its saving or you know a couple blockers like chopper you you probably you just end up losing it like like that um and also he was just subject to nico robin um yeah he was just subject to nico robin i brought him out there and i believe just to bait nico robin because i didn't want the nami to go um but you know it, it i think it worked the way i wanted it to i can't i honestly can't remember if that was my plan or not but my opponent is down to three life I'm feeling good. You know, I have seven Don to work with. I have uh, two of these searchers in deck. So I use these mainly to just grab characters and I use Nami to grab event cards when I need them. Um, I went with Nico Robin again for just the scare because people really don't like Nico Robin. Understandable. She gets rid of all your, your low end blockers, your low end characters with great abilities. So I pull her out. Um, now for me, Nico Robin never really gets a chance to be played too much. It just, it just doesn't work out that way for me. Uh, here I force him to either save Nico or ditch cards from hand. He goes to Usopp. I attack Nico again, and the same type of deal. And he decides to get rid of, uh, gets rid of her, and I bring mine out and just pass her. I'm feeling pretty good at this point. You know, I feel like I have a pretty solid control of the the board, quote unquote, at the moment. But of course, going against a Zoro uh, rush deck, that can change in a heartbeat because the main you know, big side, but bonus side to a Zero deck is that all the characters are pretty much under five. You know, there's no, only thing above five is, is Shank. So everything else is, is low tier. Um, now of course they require Don to do some of the special abilities, but they're pretty much low tier. So you can bring out a whole lot of them when you have all 10 Don like he does. So, whew, okay, he, he's gearing up his Nami, same way I geared up mine. And he's gonna swing at least my Nami. He can't touch my Nico. Um, so he's either gonna swing at Nami or leader. He goes for Nami. No problem, you can have it. You can have it. Mm, looking at his Don count, he had four remaining Don. I just take it to life. I just take it instead of defending. Oh, and he jet pistols. Okay, so I didn't I didn't uh, account for the jet pistol, but then again, there's really nothing I can do to account for jet pistol because I mean, I can't stop it. So I'm like, all right, uh, I have John Band hand still. Uh, I attach my one to my leader and I'm like, okay, well, he has three life. I bring out, you know, Luffy, rush Luffy. No need to beef him up really because, I mean, he has no blockers on the field. Now he's sitting at seven, but I give him one anyway just to make him an eight to really make him uh, give up if he wants to like, try and save it. And then give the remaining to leader as well. Now he's down to the one. So now I'm like, okay, now I'm feeling confident. In my hand, I know I have Diablo Jambe, which is my saving grace, and I have uh, at least one 2K counter to save Luffy if he decides to swing in light with Luffy, or swing in light with his Zoro on Luffy. I'm like, okay, but still not not terrified. I have 2K counter, I got Diablo Jambe. 
this is good. This is good. This is going to work out. This is what I'm telling myself in my head. I'm like, this, this is going to work out. I got this. I got this. <sighs> of course, the big thing is what comes out of the, uh, the life as well when he attacks. Like, what comes out? What does he get? Uh, what do I get? You know, I can't really change the landscape. That's one thing I like the most about this is just the fact that the life, like I'll take hits to the life just to get the cards in hand. Cause I'm like, I, I might need this, I might need this. But I do, I do know I, I, I really despise getting cards that like, I don't need at the moment. <laughs> like when I need like a 2K count and I pull out Chopper, like, oh my gosh. Or I pull out Zora, oh my gosh, you know, but it, it, it's just a part of the game. You know, people, people always like talk to me and say, oh, you got lucky, you got lucky. And I'm like, it's a card game, it's about luck. You have 50 cards in a deck. I mean, it's all about luck. You can stack it as much as you want with uh, copies of the same card, but it's it's all about luck. So I'm like, all right, you know, he round tables, he round tables my Luffy. Uh, definitely didn't see that one coming because I don't run round table in this deck at the moment. Um, at least not often enough. And he takes it out with Nami. So that was, that was kind of insulting, but I'm good with that. He decided to Nami up again. <sighs> So I know he's trying to get something, but the fact that I get to see what it is, you know, okay, 2K counter. So now I'm like, all right, he's trying to stack up a 2K counter, especially when he drops Uda and he grabs another 2K counter. I'm like, yeah, he's trying to really save his tail. So I got to play knowing that he just has 4,000 in hand right now, that he is really, um, he's ready to just utilize if necessary. So I'm like, how do I get, uh, I got, like, how do I get these last two big hits in? I got three life, I need two hits. How do I make this happen? Um, two 2k counters in hand, one Diablo Jambe. No, three 2k counters in hand, one Diablo Jambe and uh, Red Hawks. I'm like, all right, okay, do some finger math and make sure I do this right. Attack leader, attack leader. I think it was like 9,000. Attack leader or not. What you gonna do? He takes it. I'm like, okay, whoa. And I pass turn, leaving. Oh, no, I did more than that. <laughs> I did way more than that. Um, I put on eight Don. So, 14, 14,000, 14,000 liter. He had to just eat it. Um, and at this point, I think I realized he didn't play blockers. Like he, he has no blockers. So I'm like, oh, okay. And I had the John Blade hold time, of course, to take out a blocker, but I'm like, huh, okay. Well, I'm not seeing any, 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 any blockerinos. So unless he kills me this turn, I win. I'm like, uh, I win. Even if he does have a blocker that I haven't seen, he pulls it out, I got Jambe. I'm like, I win. So he needs to get four good hits in to win this game. He's like, does he have a Don to make it happen? I'm like, uh, no. <laughs> I use that plus 4,000, knock out his Nami, so that gets rid of one of his attack forces that he would have tried to beef up. Because um, at that point, Nami only needs two Don to really do some damage. And yep, this is from the 5,000. And he's like, okay, well, he beefs it up a little more. Okay, he's like, all right, all right, gotta make this work. Because now he only has two attack left for the most part, unless he brings out a Zoro, block it, I mean, counter it. Mm, I'll take it. All right, hold on to it. Two, another 2K counter, that's good. Brings out Zoro, I'm like, okay, bet. Um, he ain't got nothing, there's, there's nothing he can do. There's nothing he can do. And I'm like, yeah, okay, I'll take the hit. And I'm like, got a jump pistol, bing. <laughs> Mink, my turn. And I'm like, okay, look at this board. And I'm like, all of it. That's all I got. That's my move. <laughs> no blockers, 15,000. Straight the leader. And he comes out of hand, hella counters. Um, yeah, he came out with 10,000 worth of counters, but he was 1,000 short. And I was like, oh my gosh. He was, he almost, man, he, he was 1,000 short. But yeah, subscribe to the channel. See you guys later.